at the World Defense Show 2024, Araf Industrial Company Limited from Saudi Arabia introduces the Tears 4x4 armored personnel carrier APC. Founded in 1996 in Saudi Arabia, the Raif is dedicated to providing a broad spectrum of defense and security services, encompassing land and naval systems, weapon integration, vehicle armoring, and logistical support. Powered by a strong 6.7-liter power stroke V8 turbo diesel engine, the Tears APC delivers optimal performance with 300 horsepower at 2,800 revolutions per minute and 660 torque at 1,500 revolutions per minute, while adhering to Euro 3 diesel standard dots. Construction and design are tailored for utmost resilience and flexibility, incorporating N1522 FB7 ballistic protection, Stanag level I mine protection, and EN1063 LBR6 rated transparent armor for unmatched occupant safety. Beyond its engineering prowess and protection, the vehicle excels in mobility, achieving a top speed of 120 kilometers per hour, a 600 kilometers range, and the ability to maneuver through diverse terrains. Added features for enhanced safety and visibility include a rear view camera and an optional roof mounted turret based on customer preferences. Araf has also equipped the Tears APC with strengthened rear differentials, a rear differential lock, and standard safety enhancements like customizable weapon ports and advanced fire suppression systems. Araf Industrial Company Limited, established in Saudi Arabia in 1996, specializes in a wide range of defense and security solutions, including land and naval systems, weapons integration, armoring, and logistics support. The company's efforts align with Saudi Vision 2030, focusing on boosting the local economy through the use of locally sourced parts and manpower. A notable partnership includes an agreement with NTGS for the local manufacturing of the Alacron mobile mortar system, further emphasizing Araf's role in enhancing the defense capabilities of Saudi Arabia and its global presence in the defense industry. In October 2023, it was reported that the Nigerian army was utilizing Araf Terry's armored vehicles and had initiated a two-week training program for personnel, focusing on these newly acquired mine-protected vehicles.